technique that's required for a purple belt is called darting serpents for a two hand grab or a push. As the opponent comes in and grabs or pushes you, you're going to step back and we're going to use our wedge block again. But this time we're going to continue the motion as we shuffle in slightly so we can grab the groin. And then we're going to grab and pull as we rip and draw a cat. Then we're going to step back out, back knuckle into the rib cage or even into the kidneys if you can get behind them that far. Right back through as you draw into cat again. Then we're going to step out, your hands will roll over, double finger strike to the eyes, so this will be one, and then thumbs into the eyes. As the opponent comes up to grab their eyes, you're going to strike the hands down, and then back knuckle into the uh, back of the head or side of the temples, break through, I'm sorry, just back knuckle, grab, and knee. Let's start. Our next technique for purple or blue belt, I'm sorry, is called darting serpent. It's for a two-hand push or grab. As your opponent comes in to either grab or to push you, you're going to step back with our double wedge block. But up until now, we've always stopped to go into a strike. This time, we're just going to continue the motion and shuffle slightly back in as we do a double grab to the groin area. As we grab, we're going to step back into cat and pull. Step back out as we swing the hands back around for a double back knuckle strike to either the rib cage or if you're close enough you can even go into the kidney area. And then you're going to rake those through as we drop back into cat. Then we're going to step out as our hands roll over, a double finger flip into the eyes. So you got this one and then the thumbs. As your opponent comes up to grab their eyes, you're going to strike them back down, double back knuckle to the head, grab the head, and knee them in the face. Again, opponent grabs or pushes. We step back, grab the groin, pull into cat, double back knuckle rake as we draw back into cat, double finger flip, drop the hands down, back knuckle, grab, and knee to the face. It's called darting serpent. What this looks like with an opponent is your opponent comes in. We do a double wedge block, but remember we don't want to stop. We're going to keep it going. Come in and grab, Rip them, double back knuckle, right, right through those rib cages, come in, double finger flip as they come up to grab their eyes, you're going to strike it down, back knuckle, grab, you can even put an ear shot right here, and knee the face, again, and grab, pull them, double back knuckle, either the kidney area or the rib cage, and just rip right through it, step back in, finger flip, drive the hands back down, Double back knuckle, grab the head, you can even do an ear pop right here, and knee to the face from a different angle. One, continue the motion. Grab, rip as you draw a cat, come step back out, double strike to either side of the rib cage or the kidneys. Break it through. Come back around, finger flip. Hands will come up at this point. We're going to drop them back down, pop the ears if you want, grab the head and knee the face. That's called darting serpent 